when I make a video, I attempt to, to the best of my ability, I try to be as honest and factual as possible. I can make a mistake. I may misunderstand. I can be in error. I possibly did not comprehend, but I do not intentionally, on purpose, present uh, an opinion, a commentary based upon fallacy. Unlike some folks who their commentary is based upon a hatred, a dislike, grasping for straws, hoping that the listener will take them on face value, hoping that the listener is emotional and has sympathy or empathy upon them that they can bring fairy tales and delusions and outright lies that their words hold some type of truth simply because they say it. They offer no real receipts. They offer nothing really in support except emotional talk. But this is expected because this is what we see in religion and religion and spirituality. This is what it depends on. It depends upon a person unable to think that just takes a doctrine on face value. So this is not no shock that so many would listen to persons who just talk and hope that you accept what they say on face value with no physical evidence, no real uh, something that is uh, analytical or within reason or logic. Now, I come to this conclusion not based upon physical evidence. Well, I tried to find some physical evidence, but this lady here, I'm very sure she knew that this would bring her problems in the future, so she took these videos down. My claim on this talk is that she hates black people. And some of us who have followed her or listened to her uh, commentary, we know not too long ago, it probably was this year, she made a three-part series. And the title was, I Hate Black People, or something to that effect. I Hate Black People. It was a three-part series. She did a one-part, a two-part, and then Soul Brother Talib joined as a collaboration the third part. Now, so when I say that she hates black people, this is not <laughs> this is not my words making something up or whatever. This was the title of a video, a three-part series. Matter of fact, if I look, I might have copied it somewhere. I'm not sure. But it was her, parts one and two, and then she joined Talib. Matter of fact, Talib made a video too, I believe. Also, he doesn't like black people. And so they 
joined together on the third part, I hate black people. These are not my words. This is not something I made up. They made these videos. I hate black people. And her and Talib, on the third collaboration, they spoke about how black people have done them wrong and unjust and caused them hurt and pain and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. They did not say these individuals who so happen to be black, they say or make the claim black people hurt them. I hate black people. In response, I made a video to this video series, I Hate Black People, because I do not endorse such thinking. There are certain black females or soul sisters that I have a problem with. There are certain uh, soul brothers or black men that I might have problems with, but I cannot say this is how black people are because there are so many things or there are many brothers and sisters throughout my life that override. Yes, we cause each other hurt and pain. But to say this is how we are as a people, I hate black people and this is how black people are. I need to see and you should want to see more concrete evidence rather than your experience with 10, 12, or 30 people when there are 40 plus million of us in this nation. Another reason why I can say that this woman here hates black people. Well, she says she hates black people. And I would further go to say that she really has a hatred for the black male. She doesn't like soul brothers. Many times she have called me from her job and she's uh, one of her jobs is customer service. And I hear her interacting with the various customers. And is it a coincidence that the only ones who she really have a problem with just so happened to be black men. And if that man lets her know that he's a married man with his wife, she tells me, I feel sorry for that woman married to that black man. He's, he's a slave driver and she's a slave and all this. So she has this attitude, even on our live streams. She would tell us, oh, brothers, I I'm sorry. This is how she talks. She, I I'm sorry or whatever. But black men do this and, and the black people. If you go back and listen to our live stream. So this is not something that I'm making up, a delusion, a fairy tale. This is the behavior that she has exhibited towards black people, especially towards black men. So when she combined herself or she found a person who also has a problem with soul brothers, the black man, this woman, Karen, then it all came out in the wash. And the only thing we have to do is go pull up those videos where they are together and you can hear the hatred the malice, the nastiness, the judgmental tone that they have. A hatred for black people, especially soul brothers. That's not me making up anything. That is them. I'm just pointing it out for those who already don't know. In fact, I would say they tried to justify it 
by saying, uh, I don't hate black men. What are you saying? There was a time when Sister Noble, because of her rhetoric, there were many calling her a feminist, calling her a possible lesbian. I never told you that myself and Sister Noble was dating, but she found that it was necessary to tell people that we were dating because that was used to help her cover her hate for the black man. Well, if I'm a feminist and if I hate black men, how could I be dating Talit? That's what that's why she had to let people know and get some of that heat off. But now we see that that's how you are. I divest from the black man. Now, I, div I divest from black people. Now, there's no evidence. I cannot say that she likes uh, Caucasian men or, or Chinese men or something like that. Uh, there's no evidence, I can say, that says that she's a, a lesbian or, or she is having uh, problems She's suffering from sexual orientation confusion or whatever. But this is what we what I have observed. I have observed, observed and she said out her mouth, I'm not dealing with no man at all. And that's fine. I'd rather just be by myself. But when she does interact, when she does uh, socialize with men and talk about the men and praise men, I notice that she has a preference to light-skinned men. Lennon Honor and Taz is a light-skinned person, I believe, and these other men. And she prays lighter-skinned men. She does not mention dark-skinned men. Hmm. I wonder why is that. And then when you see her interacting with the women, she has a a preference, a love for the lighter skinned women, because I know she was very, very upset when it came to Zaza Ali. I know, and you can listen, listen to the videos. You hear her feel real upset over the loss of Napasha Da, even though Napasha Da uh, said all those different things and accused her of whatever and uh, recorded secret recordings. She does not like Sonetta. But she has a love and a mercy for Napasha Da. And if you look at Napasha Da and Zaza Ali, you will notice they have similar features. I thought that since she met Rashida Strober, the world's first dark skinned activist, in person, she knows she met Rashida in person. She never met Karen or Aaliyah Porkchop, or none of these other people. She met Rashida in person. But she has no love, no real love for Rashida. I would assume that it's because Rashida is dark, dark-skinned. That's, that's, that's what I assume. I don't know, but it's because she's dark-skinned. So she does have a hatred for black people, dark-skinned black people. But that's not my words. That's her words. And so, and so Tasha Fierce was correct. She does not qualify. How can you want to or give the keynote address so Liberation Day when you are against, and I even said that to her when you are anti the liberation nor you have any love for black people at all what y'all think jot down your comments i catch y'all on the flip check y'all on soul liberation